Hi everyone, this is Hello Angel Doll Design. Today we are making a flared short pants for little kids. Step by step tutorial. Remember to watch the video until the end so that you don't miss anything out. These flat short pants that we are making today, we are going to be using our basic pattern paper that we make previous video. So I'm going to use that pattern paper to make this flat short pen and I'm going to show you how you can adjust your own pattern paper. If you don't know how to make a basic short pens pattern paper, I'll put the link on the description box below. Make sure to check that out. And this is how it look once you have done making your own flat short pen. Please Thumbs up on our video if our video have helped in any way. Make a comment down below if you have any question. And please, please subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't. If you're just stopping by, remember to subscribe before you exit that video. Subscription is free. And let's get started. First thing that you have to do, you grab your front and back short pants pattern paper. I have shown how to make short pants pattern paper before. If you don't know, I will put the link on my description box below so that you can go and watch the tutorial and I've also shown how to put the pants together. So this is my back pattern paper. I will put this aside and this is the front pattern paper. If you remember when we make the pattern paper, this side of the pocket we cut it out to so get how you can cover it all back what you have to do you take the inside pocket place it on top of it like this pin it together place a different paper under your short pants pattern you just go ahead and trace it out once you trace it out use the tape to tape them together and cut it out so that means you can cover this side this is our pocket that we did before that is the front pocket so that is how i cover this gap that i already cut so what you are going to do this is our body rise measurement so what i'm going to do i will just go ahead and turn my pattern paper so i'm turning it like this i'll place my measuring tape from this my body rise i'll measure down four centimeter like this i will just go ahead and measure it all the way down four centimeter once you have done that take your ruler connect the mark together once you have connect the mark together you take your scissors and cut it out and then once you've done that you will also do the same thing for the back so i will also turn my pattern paper like this i will place my measuring tape i'm measuring down four centimeter once i am done with that i will take my ruler and connect it down i have cut out the back and i've also cut out the front the next thing that you have to do you take a different paper just place it like this and you pick your front short pants pattern and this is the back short pen so you're going to turn it make sure that both sides seam are facing each other so i'm going to put them together like this you can see how i'm putting them together make sure that these both side seam are mashed together and i will just take my tape and i will tape them together i have used my tape to tape it together this is how it is so what i'm going to do i'm going to take my arm hook cuff to just go ahead and curve this out so i will turn my pattern paper like this i'm just placing my armhole curve and then curve it out and then cut out the excess of the pattern paper i have cut it out this is how it is the next thing that you have to do you pick a different paper like this and take your short pants pattern paper place it on top of it and then go ahead and use your cello tape to tape them together make sure you tape them properly so that it doesn't move i 
have used my cello tape to tape the pattern paper together this is how it is right now you can see how that is the next thing that you have to do you're going to add more measurement at the short pens from this is where our short pens end from here i'm going to measure down five centimeter or two inch so you place your measuring tape like this you go ahead and measure it down five centimeter or two inch so you're going to measure it a circular way just go ahead and measure it down all around five centimeter or two inch once you have done that connect the mark together Now that we have connected together and I've also write front and back because we are only cutting two pieces for this pattern paper. We are not cutting four pieces. The next thing that we have to do, we are going to adjust the waistline. So what you are going to do, I'll first use my pencil and make sure I use free hand to do that before I will use my marker and trace it out all over again. So I will just go ahead and turn my pattern like this. So what you're going to do, you take your pencil, you just go ahead and use free hand to trace it out like this. Once you've done it like that, you can just go ahead and use your marker to make it more visible. So I will just take my scissors and go ahead and cut it out. I have cut out my pattern paper this is how it is right now and this is my fabric i'm using african wax fabric you can use any fabric of your choice so what i'm going to do i'm going to pin my pattern paper on the fabric i have added some allowance on my fabric i'll go ahead and cut it out I have cut out my fabric this is how it is both front fabric are facing each other what you are going to do take your pin pinning all the way to the crotch line i have pinning together the next thing that you have to do take it to your sewing machine go ahead and top stitch with one centimeter seam allowance depends on the seam allowance that you add on your fabric go ahead and top stitch you can see that i give it a mark right here so this is the back and this is also the back so make sure you should do that and the front i didn't use any marker on that side of the front I have top stitch this is how it is and i take it to my overlocker overlock the raw edges the next thing that you have to do open your pants like this you're going to go ahead and stitch it together you can go ahead and start pinning or you can also take it to your sewing machine and top stitch i have pinning together the next thing that you have to do take it to your sewing machine and top stitch once you have done that, also overlock it with your overlocker sewing machine or use zigzag to overlock the raw edges. I have top stitch. This is how it look right now. I take it to my ironing board. I give it a good press. For the leg hole, I fold inside two centimeter. You can see that two centimeter. And for the waistline, I fold inside 2.5 centimeter or one inch. What you are going to do, take it to your sewing machine, go ahead and top stitch around the leg hole. When you are stitching around the waistline, remember to leave a gap so that that is where you're going to put your elastic. So go ahead and stitch the waistline and the leg hole together.
I have stitched around the waistline and this is my open gap right here. And I've also stitched around the leg hole. The next thing is for you to cut your elastic. I've already cut my elastic. To get the measurement of your elastic, the total waistline of your child, make sure you take your child waistline. Then minus one inch or 1.5 inch. If you're using centimeter, you can minus four centimeter or five centimeter, depends on your child waistline. You can minus from the elastic because elastic is stretches. So you don't want to put excess elastic. So what you're going to do, you just open this gap, go ahead and pass your elastic through. I have passed my elastic through. I just put them together like this. What you are going to do, take it to your sewing machine, go ahead and top stitch. Make sure you back stitch two to three times to secure the elastic together. Once you have done that, push your elastic inside and top stitch the open gap. I have stitched my elastic inside and I just closed the open gap. If you have a label, you can put your label. If you don't, just go ahead and close the open gap. This is how it is. And I just go ahead and give it one more top stitch around the waistline. This is the final look of our flat short pants. Easy tutorial to make, step-by-step -step tutorial. Watch the video until the end so that you don't miss anything out. It is very, very important to do that. Thank you. Thank you all so much for watching and have a blessed day. Bye.